Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with dynamic actions in their applications. Our viewer is curious about how to set the value of a pop-up list of values, or love, using a dynamic action with a PLSQL function body. While this method works seamlessly with select lists, it seems to pose a challenge with pop-up logs. Let's explore this issue together and uncover the solution. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, let's get ready to try and work through to that resolution, and remember to stay a little bit crazy, just like me. Now, let's continue on. To set the value of a pop-up love using a dynamic action, we first need to understand the difference between a select list and a pop-up love V. Pop-up loves are typically used for selecting values from a list that opens in a dialog. Next, we will create a dynamic action in your application. Navigate to the page where your pop-up love is located and add a new dynamic action. Choose the event that will trigger this action, such as change or click. Now in the dynamic action settings, select the action type as set value. For the set type, choose PLSQL function body. This is where we will write the PLSQL code to fetch the desired value. In the PLSQL code, you will need to return the value you want to set for the pop-up love. Make sure to use the correct syntax to fetch the value from your database or application context. Finally, ensure that the dynamic action is correctly linked to the pop-up love item. Test your application to confirm that the value is being set as expected when the triggering event occurs. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To set the value of a pop-up love using a dynamic action, you can use jQuery. Simply use the code snippet where you replace display with the name of your SQL field. Make sure to test it out and see if it works for your application. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped answer your question and you found that answer that you're looking for. Now, please hit subscribe for the help. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time on another one of these videos. Cheers.